At the age of 39, Teresa Kachinda Moto went from training as a secretary to becoming chief of nearly one million people. When she began work, she was shocked to see girls as young as 12 with babies. Today, she's developed a reputation as Malawi's top child marriage terminator, but it's not been easy. When I go around to sensitize these parents that I don't want any parents to force these girls to be married, they said, who are you? They are mocking me, even threatening me that, oh, you want to die, we will kill you, things like that. So I said, well, yes, you will kill me, but I don't care. But what I want is these girls to go back to school. As chief, she stopped over 800 child marriages with the help of a bylaw that makes it illegal for under 18s. Elena Philly was married and pregnant by 16. She moved back home after the marriage fell apart and was approached by Kachinda Moto's mother's group who encouraged her to go back to school. It was so painful to have a baby at the age of 16 because my body wasn't mature enough. I was always falling sick and being admitted to the hospital. I'm very positive about my future now because after completing school, I can be independent, find work and help my own children. Malawi has one of the highest child marriage rates in the world, especially in rural, poorer areas. For families struggling financially, marrying off a daughter or a son is one way to ease the burden. But the chief and her network of volunteers are trying to convince families of the long-term benefits of educated children. Today, they're performing a play about child marriage. In the past, many girls dropped out of school due to pregnancy. Now we are seeing most of them going on to become soldiers, police and teachers, and a lot more are working. More girls in my community are going to school. And because we're doing this hand in hand with church communities, if anyone goes wrong, people intervene and the child is encouraged to go back to school. Malawi's government has pledged to work with the country's chiefs to better enforce the law. The work is ongoing and the government is very committed. We are already planning to train all the chiefs in the country on the prevention of child marriage. I don't want to hear that there is someone who forced the girl to be married. This is the last year. 2016 is the last, last year. I want all the girls and boys to be educated in my area. I'm a custodian of culture, but for these cultures of forcing girls, young girls to be married, I don't like it. Chief Kachindamoto hopes that by allowing children to complete their education, the cycle of rural poverty can be broken. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Ntakataka, Malawi.